But that is what it's gonna look like. I also own a farm. Here we go. You're now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Previously, we got the hood on the Mac. Um, we got parts coming for the pickup, so we went over that. Some of the lights are on. I called Mac on a windshield. They told me I gotta order eight of them um, to get one. So that was a little weird. Called Global. He said, hey, honestly, call a glass guy. Um, he goes, they're cheaper than by the time we pay shipping and everything else. So. Uh, waiting to hear back on that because that would be a lot easier so hoods on we got to do some wiring to get things to where they need to be started reassembling the doors granted we can't put them all together until we get our mirrors back which that might be tomorrow as far as telling you what's going on there but got the bulldog on down there new door handle and right now we got enough warmth that we are painting black so Got a few items that are going to be black on the truck. Should look pretty good. So let's keep going. See how much progress we can make today. So when we first got this truck, we actually wired everything new. Um, so I'm pretty much doing everything over again on the front half of this. But we'll go climb underneath here. And uh, we got terminal strips to get mounted up right there so we got to drill new holes and we got new hardware so we'll go ahead and do that so there's our previous terminal strips and uh we should have everything for headlights crossovers so we got them on the other side we run them runs down along comes up goes through the holes and uh yeah we got full headlight assemblies and everything to do once we're done with uh painting the bezels there bezels bezels yeah we're actually making some heat in here today. So it's warming up outside. We're out of the cold. That says it's 65 degrees. That says it's 62. So we're actually being in a good place today. Um, yeah, so those are bolted in, which is good. We got all that done. Um, we're waiting on, well, we're painting. We're playing artist today with uh, some black. So pretty excited about it being black. I gotta stop touching it. As always, we're jumping around some. So I'm painting stuff, getting stuff ready. I'd really like to have the cap painted now that the heat's actually pretty good in here. Um, but I got aircraft remover. We're working on the air cleaner. This is gonna be red. Top's gonna be black. We got the chrome top piece there. Should look pretty good together. And then black, black bands around it. So get that prepped for when we go to red. We have that, the door and the cab left to paint red. So, and then we will be done painting. This side is pretty much all complete still, the harness that we built. Um, so we just gotta make sure we don't, well, mess up any, just keep them all together and just swap them. And then this line runs across and goes to this panel. So should be easy enough, right?
Got our wires all run. That's ready to go, except for the ground wire, which is right here. And as we see it, when it all, when things went south, we broke that off. So we're gonna run a new ground wire up to it. There's like a 75% chance that we uh, break this off, have a bad day. Maybe more than 75. You can't tell us on there. There's a nut on the bottom, so there we go. Now we're on. Oh, it's going. that up some so we get a good connection with ground even got stainless bolt for it so we'll turn it back that way tuck it down and then we'll go up to the front Gotta go to the other end. We need a couple of hold downs and that's all good. We can wire out there. This runs across and I'm not sure why it's so long. I don't have more of these smaller ends so I gotta see what I got. But should be able to cut it back here and do everything that I need to do. Then we'll need a hold down there. But, hmm. Looks a lot better. That should, uh do it as far as wiring underneath the hood here still got to do all the light plugs um, but if we climb out we grab all my stuff we should have marker lights on on both sides right now Ow. Ow. oh yeah marker lights we got to get these wired in though the... this should be easy enough because uh, we laid it out pretty good actually we just cut the wires so the ground goes back up to the light itself, and then we got a cut wire right here. We'll splice that back together. We'll get the hold downs run up there. It is on right now. We do still have to get a good LED blinker um, since it's just sitting on right now. It's not supposed to actually be on. I just have it on. But that's looking much, much better. Got them working. So looking good. Pretty much got the last coats of black on these. They're looking pretty good too. Yeah, jumping around, making progress though. That is key. So these fixtures actually rot out and uh, they become pretty, pretty bad. And uh, I was able to find full fixtures with lights, all the adjustment screws, the springs, and a cable out, um, but we don't run regular bulbs in it everything on this truck is led and these light bulbs are honestly the best i don't think there's a name on it made in taiwan i got the box somewhere so i gotta get some more because well the other mac and the white truck both need better headlights but i'm gonna pull those assemblies apart and see how it plugs in um, if we can use that wire and run all the way back then we wired something that we really didn't need that means we would have one less connection. Let me pull one apart and see. Take the front holder off, the chrome piece that goes around the light bulb itself. Which then the light bulb should come, oh, it's got the same plugs, I think. I remember. Okay. Let me grab that other light bulb there. So, see, being outside in the elements, 
it uh, gets a little corroded, but it is the same plug. They'll fit right in with it. We are gonna have to do some adjustment because those, you gotta adjust your screw here. One there. These are very, very turned. Well, I guess we'll, we're not done wiring. Send these wires through, pull the other ones out. We'll go from there. Um, yeah. Grabbed a rivet set the other day, which that was a pretty good idea because, well, we just, everything we used was rivets just now. So we can put that, the base in, get that back adjusted, well, in. We'll have to adjust it in the dark or whatnot against the wall. But uh, this is working. So how these work for adjustment, you got two screws. That's your up or down and side to side. And the spring actually holds tension to keep it from going the other way. So I got this one screwed in pretty good. I think we might be pointed out a little bit. But if you went like this, it starts screwing out. This top one, um, just based on I, I think we're okay-ish right now. We'll find out. I actually had the spring in the wrong hole. I was like, why is that threaded? Well, put your cover on, hold your light in. <laughs> Gotta get the hardware for the back of uh, the bezels for some reason. It's fine thread, I didn't even think about it. Um, this is gonna get polished is the plan. We'll see what Jared's thinking on it. But that is what it's gonna look like. It's not all the way in there yet. We broke it up a little bit with uh, some black on the front of the hood. I think we'll accent the other items of black that we're doing. So, I like it. Take this out. This should polish up. Fixtures are in, bulbs are in. We gotta now wire it because we ran those wires and I wasn't even thinking. Which isn't the end of the world. That should go easy enough. Need two hands. So previously we wired the loom all the way up because it had no harness. This looks really good actually. We'll just pull that back through. And then we gotta figure out, got high beam, low beam. I guess we'll do some digging and figure out which one's which. Easy enough to fix. And then we won't have any connections that are outside of, um, outside in the elements. So we gotta do a little figure, and one's low beam, high beam, and then ground. So those would go right like that. I take it. Uh, I don't know now. Brown is ground, maybe. Brown is ground. Um, and then if we hold, so right now it's on low beam. That is low beam right there. And if I switch it, let's see if I can do this. Two hands is always better. That's high beam, I believe. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. No, that's low beam. So it is on low beam right now. So gray to here, black or brown to there, and then, yeah. Easy enough. Clearly they are working. Let's go see if we got a high beam though. So we got high beam, low beam switch on the floor. Yep, high beam's good. Perfect. That is coming along. So we're not gonna put any of the inserts in um, yet. We'll let them dry. We gotta get some hardware, like I said. That's good. We haven't seen Robert in a few days and we've got the Camry running pretty good. It doesn't even, it has, well, the muffler's back on it. Muffler's on it. Mirror's good. Yeah. Window, window. Window. I got the window fixed. Got the window fixed and the lights work. Yeah. Do they? Oh yeah, all lights work. Are you lying to me? No. That's what you got. Moving up in the world. Yeah. Now I just gotta get inspected. Yeah. And keep all the tires on. Good news and bad news. <laughs> Actually, I think it's all bad news. 
So, call the gentleman locally about putting the window in. Global told me, find somebody local. They should be able to do it cheaper than ordering one. Um, that's what they do with their trucks, he said. So I found somebody local, he said, yeah, we have zero interest in doing it. Um, and he doesn't do mobile any longer. So I gotta keep looking on that. And he said, I can get passenger window, but not driver. So Global said they could get me them. Mac told me they could get me them, but I gotta buy eight of them at $1,200. We're gonna get it figured out. Same like with the fan, just little stuff. So I got belts on. The third belt is actually sitting in my pickup, which is not here. And uh, I know somebody keeps saying matching belts and I told them that and I don't think they actually listened, but we're gonna get another good set of belts. Um, yeah. We'll get there. Well, alrighty, belts are here. So I'll go ahead and put them on and then wrap them around. And I think Larry's coming over. He said something about his car acting up, making a noise. Uh, what am I doing on the other side? We got them crossed, don't we? Hmm. It's the only bad thing about the big tires. It's tougher to get in there and work on it. But see these ones you just sneak right in. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the big tires on. I got one big tire and one small tire. That's where we're at with them. Yeah, I'm definitely crossed. Ugh. At least I think. Oh no. I might be okay. Oh, I'm not on the right. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we better not put that through the radiator. So we still gotta get that, which goes right there. Get up. Do that, do this. Okay, enough of you talked me into uh, hammering this out. Larry said we're gonna cut the panel out. We'll just swap it with the other truck, but this is where we're at. We gained some closed up that gap it does get pulled down to like there so just a farm truck gonna go get covered in manure Larry's got the car all tuned back up we've been doing a little bit of paint scraping here and 
we're using some uh, Rust-Oleum aircraft remover. Get it right down to the bare metal. So this stuff's pretty top notch, I gotta say. So, first time ever actually using it. But I'd highly recommend it. You gotta do a few coats as you get some off. Let it sit. So that's what we've been doing in, in between working on the hood. But we'll get it cleaned right down. And then it's gonna be good primer. We'll have a good looking air cleaner. So I took the logo off and it has a little crack from where it bubbled out some. That's okay. This door has been crooked since day one that I had it and now you see it's not. Yeah, that's a little better there, right? Um, they had a cotter pin jammed down in it in the lower. Well, there's one in the top and in the lower. But the lower one was war, um, so I put a regular pin through it, and now it is happy and square. That's, I go down the rabbit hole and 30 minutes later finally get that fixed. Stuff like that. But just gotta take the logo off the badge off the other side and start taping. Well, we also gotta sand. That's the last thing I wanna do with the day though. It is like, eight o'clock though okay we stripped everything off um lights badges all this leaning back to the back it's not going to be that much fun to do uh behind the cab there it might not get done that well so we'll get some sanding going here in a minute but i started taking the windshield out because we got might as well be out that way we can paint right underneath the rubber and everything and be good. When they painted before, they missed some spots and it started rusting, so yeah, we'll just, I'll show you what we're gonna do to take the windshield out. Not having the grab bars really makes it challenging getting in and out of the truck, to be honest. So all you do, and this is all weather rotted and see we, we gotta fix some surface rust because if we don't, it's just gonna lead to worse. So I guess it is part of it. But this weather strip or windshield is gonna come out like that. So I better grab a trash can and we're gonna get it all all figured out. So one way or another, we're getting a windshield in here. If it's new, if it's used. I'd rather have it new, but still at the same time, we got to get going on some things, so. And the windshield guy said he has no interest in putting them in. He goes, oh, they're easy anyways. I know they're easy, but because it's a gasket around and then you shove this wedge piece in down through it and that actually seals it up. So I think there's a better tool for it, which somebody's going to tell me if there is or not. But how many windshields do we mess with? Maybe moving forward, we'll we'll get the right tool.
lot easier than I thought. I just gotta get all the... Yeah, we'll be good to get in here. Be able to paint right up to it. Get some of that surface rust off. Um, not really sure. Oh, it just wraps around. Okay. I'll do this one, but we'll see. Look at all the years. Of, if this truck could tell some stories, it'd be, be wild. Surprisingly, this side came out easier than the other. Well, so all that came out easier. I know there's supposed to be like a string that goes in between it. Uh, break the silicone. I don't want to break this one because I don't actually know what our plan is yet. All I know is it's coming out either way so that we can fix up top. Well, clean it up. Yeah, like a wire that goes and breaks it all up. Okay, glass out. We got a celebrity guest here. Austin's back with us. If you don't remember, we went and got the 2755. You were the digging machine. Ben said that the uh, 331 might come back in the spring. So, might have, to might have to make another trip. That thing is a unit. But I got the can all stripped down, ready to rock and roll for some paint. So I'll hit this with some primer so it's not sitting. And, uh, and I'll probably make some tacos for dinner. But we can go back in our little paint booth over here and figure out how I put all the nuts back on the top so that uh, the threads don't all get painted. But everything should be pretty close to being done. The Vivor welding table has turned into a, well, not a welding table any longer. Okay, we got uh, mostly everything picked up. We still got trays that we're filling as we find tools that I have hidden away um we got all our chrome out we're gonna go see jared tomorrow we got a good day tomorrow uh 
The air cleaner has primer on it. All the black is sitting. I don't think we have to spray any more black. That was it. So honestly, air cleaner, we got one door to do. This door here. Um, exterior of that, so we prepped that and we got the cab. So we gotta do some body work on the cab, but after that, hit it with some primer. And uh, well, we gotta tape it too, so. Alrighty, we're gonna go have tacos and we'll see you guys in the morning. Appreciate everybody watching along and the Mac is looking one step closer to being a truck again. So windshields are really clear too, but have a good one. See you on the next one.